As promised, we said we're going to meet shortly with segment 2 of lecture 19 and now we're going to really design the first reactor in the ethylene glycol plant, which is a plug flow reactor. Right, here's our reactor and we are feeding it with we are feeding it with ethane and ethane is cracked into ethylene and hydrogen okay so what do we need now example for three producing 300 mm what does mm refers to well you know what i refers to it refers to one you know what iv refers to it refers to four you know what v refers to refers to five m it's the same likewise is a roman numeral and refers to one thousand and so here we have one thousand times one thousand that is one so we want to produce 300 million pounds per year of ethylene of ethylene this guy, in a plug flow reactor design of a full-scale tubular reactor type so we want to produce ethylene is ethylene really important well yeah ethylene ranks the fourth in the united states in the total pounds of chemicals produced each year and it is the number one organic chemical produced each year the most important organic chemical produced in terms of quantities over 50 billion pounds per year uh, over 50 billion pounds were produced in 2000 and it sold for 0.27 dollar per pound meaning 225 fills per kg approximately 90 percent of ethylene is used to produce the following four products so 90 percent of the produced ethylene is used to produce either ethylene glycol our friend that we want to produce in our plant or to produce styrene and then we can produce polystyrene or it is polymerized to produce polyethylene or it is reacted further with chlorine to produce the vinyl chloride vinyl this is vinyl chloride vinyl chloride of course you can polymerize vinyl chloride uh, to produce polyvinyl chloride which is the pvc that's the pipes that you use in your house okay so what's required here determine the plug flow reactor volume necessary to produce 300 million pounds of ethylene a year from cracking a feed stream of pure ethane the reaction is irreversible and follows an elementary rate law we want to achieve 80 percent conversion of ethane operating the reactor isothermally at 1100 kelvin at a pressure of 6 atmosphere okay so probably we need some data from the literature as well we need some kinetic data for example we need the value of k at 1100 kelvin so we go to the literature we don't find the value of k at this temperature however we find the value of k at this temperature okay which means in order to convert the value of k at this temperature to the value of k at this temperature we need the activation energy so we look at the activation energy as well and we find it five let's summarize the problem so we have the reaction the reaction is given as cracking of ethane to ethylene and hydrogen we can write it symbolically and the required volume is to be calculated because the desired conversion is 
given. Hmm. So that means that when one of them is given, the other one needs to be calculated. So here the conversion is given. We need to calculate the volume. And of course, we need the kinetic data. We have the kinetic data here. We have the kinetic data. And there we go. Oh, this is belongs to kinetic. We have the rate law as well. This is the first order. And the conditions are given as well. So we are fine. Okay. What else is given? The mass flow rate of the product is given. The mass flow rate of the product, ethylene, is given. And, of course, we don't like to deal with mass flow rate when we have reactions. So probably we need to convert it to molar flow rate. Okay, let's deal with that later. So let's design the reactor. Let's find its volume. Let's go through the five-step algorithm. So the first thing is to write the mole balance. There so we go. That's the mole balance for a plug flow reactor with a little bit modifications we can write it this way v equals the integration of fa naught over minus ra dx next comes the rate law it's a first order reaction so minus ra equals ka times ca next stoichiometry excellent so we write ca equals fa over epsilon we always start from the definition of concentration what does fa equal terms of x what does epsilon equals in terms of x we know that already let's do some simplifications here so we know that the operation is isothermal so this guy is one we can assume negligible pressure drop negligible pressure drop so that means p naught over p the pressure at the entrance equals the pressure anywhere inside the reaction because the pressure drop is negligible and of course there we go these two guys this ratio can be written as c a naught therefore we can have c a equals c a naught times one minus x divided by one plus epsilon x next step combine so here's the result of combining the previous three equations. Now we need to find the integration of this function. So where do we go? We go to the appendix. We look at the appendix and we see that the integration of this function is basically this equation. So there we go now this is the evaluated volume equals fa naught over k over c a naught times one plus epsilon len one over one minus x minus epsilon x in order to evaluate and find the final value of the volume to find the volume required for the plug flow reactor that will help us to achieve the desired conversion we need to evaluate not only the equation the integral but we need also to evaluate the parameters so let's evaluate the parameters f a naught where do we get the f a naught from we don't have f a naught however we have the mass flow rate of the product obviously we can convert the mass flow rate of the product to moles flow rate of the product because we like to work with moles especially when we have reactions correct and we use the molar mass for that so that's easy then we can find the value of f a naught through through the stoichiometry we know that f b equals f a naught one minus uh, sorry sorry it's not 1 minus x let's correct it here it's in fact if a naught theta b plus nu b x and so if b equals if a naught times theta b plus nu b to find theta we need to look at the feed 
So if you look at the feed that you are introducing to the reactor, you don't find any B. You don't find any ethylene because you have pure ethane. You have pure A. So this guy is zero. New B. In order to find new B, you look at the stoichiometric equation. And for B, the new is plus one. So therefore, we have if B equals if A naught times X. We already have the value of X. We, have, we just calculated the value of FB. That means we can calculate the value of FA0. Fine. What about K? Where do you find the K from? The K should be at 1100 Kelvin. However, we have K at 1000. No big deal. We write, use our Arrhenius equation. K2, which is at the reaction temperature, 1000. 100 Kelvin equals K1, which is at 1000 times E to the power minus E, the activation energy over R, 1 over T2, which is 1100 minus 1 over T1, which is 1000. And we find the value of K using this method. Okay, what about C0? Is C0 given? Hmm. Well, if CA0 is not given, we need to calculate it. How do we calculate CA0? It's a gas phase reaction, and you know that CA0 equals PA0 over RT. Okay, what about epsilon? Epsilon equals YA0 times delta. What's the value of delta? It's 1 plus 1, which is 2 minus 1 so that's 1 what about uh, what about y a naught we said it's pure a so that's 1 delta is 1 therefore epsilon is 1 what about x x is given as 0.8 and therefore you can calculate the final value of V and it's calculated to be 80.7 cubic feet. Pipe. So we need a pipe that has a volume of 80.7 cubic feet. If we choose a pipe that is 2 inch schedule 80 pipe, so here we go, so find it here, and we're using schedule 80 which has bigger thickness larger thickness for the wall we need that because we are operating at high temperature and moderate pressure so we prefer to use thicker pipe and uh, we have the cross-sectional area that means we can calculate the length of the pipe the length is simply the volume divided by the cross-sectional area so we have, we need 4,000 feet of this tube. And that's pretty long. What about using length of 40 feet instead? And therefore, that means we will need 100 tubes. So we put these 100 tubes in parallel. And every tube gets a feed of FA0 divided by 100. What else we can do? We can plot the profile. Okay, what profile do we need? We can plot the conversion versus the distance down the length of the reactor. We can also plot the concentration of ethane down the length of the reactor. You can see that the concentration is decreasing because it's reactant. And we can also plot the concentration of the products for ethylene and hydrogen and you can see that it's increasing so there we go now we designed the reactor and we have also plotted the concentration and the conversion profile down the length of the reactor with this we finish today's lecture make sure that you complete the suggested problem set number five see you soon